Hey everyone, there's currently a lot of heavy leaks and rumors on the upcoming iPhone 15 Pro and 15 Pro Max right now, and I'd like to just compile them up and share them in this comprehensive and short video. Firstly, the biggest change is, in my opinion, is the inclusion of the USB-C port, not only on the Pro models, but also on the standard iPhone 15 models. This means that Apple is most likely ditching their lightning ports starting from this year forward. Furthermore, the leaked USB-C charging port also shows that the prototype is made out of matte metal finish. This could potentially mean that the Pro models may be switching from stainless steel railings on the side to titanium railings similar to the Apple Watch Ultra. Then the leaks have also reported that the display bezels will be shrunk. So this means that the iPhone 15 Pro models will have larger screen sizes. Currently, the 14 Pro models have a screen size of 6.7 and 6.1 inches, but the smaller bezels and possibly a curved display will hopefully give the iPhone a bit more screen real estate, so probably roughly around 6.3 to 6.9 inch display sizes. The 15 Pro models are also rumored to have like an even larger camera and also some per a periscope lens which could enable the long time awaited astrophotography feature or more optical zoom lengths of around 6 times or 10 times zoom. Even though it's good to have better cameras on the iPhone Pro models, I do think that the current cameras on the 14 Pro are also pretty thick and big, so we'll have to see how Apple tackles that issue. Finally, in terms of colors, there are leaks that have shown that the iPhone 15 Pro models might finally get a red color finish. And this is very interesting because Apple has never give, given the Pro models a red color finish because their current product red colors are very saturated and bright. So if we do see a red color on the Pro models, it will most likely be a bit toned down and muted to match with the other colors of the iPhone 15 Pro. Overall, these leaks makes the new iPhone look very interesting. But looking at these features, I would expect that apple to increase the price by probably around a hundred dollars so that they can justify that by them adding these features customers should pay more to experience them that's pretty much it for this short video i hope you enjoyed and thanks for watching